Hello, investing friends. Welcome into Investors Club. Got a great show for you. Banks, what the banks do, we have said, the banks make most of their money, literally, most of their money, literally, by cr fraudulently creating shares of hard to borrow stocks. Most of their profits come from that, we're saying. And we just got even more evidence of it. So uh, we, we've talked about this. We've seen this. There's prime brokers. So not all banks are prime brokers, but the ones that are, like JP Morgan, Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, City, Interactive Brokers. I didn't know that one. We'll take a look at them. Those banks make most of their money by fraudulently creating shares. We'll take a look at it. We got more evidence of it. There's So the, the, the data for July is in. And Cassava made the top 10 list of hard to borrow stocks. We'll talk about the dynamic. We'll take a look at the data. Really lousy <laughs> criminal stuff, but we knew that. This is why you got to have dividends as well. Dividends solve this stuff. We'll talk about how to solve this stuff. This is why we're passionate about the blockchain. We'll take a look at all that stuff. We'll take a look at the market. Not investment advisor, not investment advice. Number one ranked stock analyst in the world. This is the best investment uh, research and analysis for you and me, the regular investor, because it is big business to screw us. These hedge funds control the financial media and then they, uh, they pay these prime brokers, these banks, to make shares for them to defraud us. That's why we have Investors Club to talk about this stuff. Let's dive into it. The market, where food come from, where food come from, where you come from, food, where food comes from, is leading the pack, second in the pack, up 2.94%. They report tomorrow. They've been doing so well in the face of all of this, the supply chain problems and inflation and uh, COVID and a drought. Uh, there's just been headwinds, 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 headwinds. And they've been doing so very well. And I expect more of the same as someone just asked in the Discord. I got to check the audio. You know, I always get paranoid about the audio. Alrighty, uh, so uh, so where food comes from, they, they've had such headwinds and someone just asked in the Discord, what do you think of this quarter they're about to report? I expect more of the same. In They just, in all of the, it, it really couldn't be worse and things are going so well. At some point, things have got to stop being so bad and then they should be doing great. So I expect them to be doing good, be doing well if things are still tough and I expect them to do really well when things lighten up. So we'll see, but they, they just, they keep, those founders keep plowing their own way. They do a great job there. Uh, where food comes from, where food comes from, EIG is up some. There's Cassava eking out a small gain. The other memers are having a tough one today. GameStop is down 9.6%. Uh, AMC down 5.7%. ARK down 5.2%. Uh, so tough day for, and the cryptos are down as well. It's a tough day for a lot of stuff, actually. So good job where food comes from. EIG and Cassava for eking out a gain there. Let's take a look at this. This is from S&P Global. This is Securities Finance July Snapshot. Securities Finance. This is the banks and not just any banks. This might, just, this might be like all investment banks, which is not all prime brokers. So, so this is, we're going to see that half, half of all global profits in securities finance in July came from shorting American hard to borrow stocks, creating American, getting paid to create American hard to borrow stocks. So that means for this, for the financial companies that are prime brokers, especially American ones, most, most of their profits come from this. Literally, we now we've said this, uh, and I can't remember now the name of the lawyer, Wes Christensen, Wes Christensen, uh, who first gave us the notion that most of the bank's profits come from creating, fraudulently creating these hard to borrow shares. And then when we talked to, God, it's been so long now, uh, we, we spoke with the investigative journalist uh, from New York who said the same thing and who introduced us to Wes Christensen. Uh, my apologies, I can't remember her name. Uh, but she said the same thing, that most of these bank's profits come from this fraudulently creating hard to borrow shares. All right, so we saw it again in July. And then, so by the way, uh, what is a, well, we'll see this in a moment. Okay, so let, let's just see this article. So July was the highest revenue generating month of 2022. Good for you guys. Good for you banks. 
Uh, let's get the stock up here so people can watch the stock at the same time. I say the stock, the stocks. But we'll see one of the stocks that made the list, cassava. The U.S. hard-to-borrow equity market pushes revenues higher. Oh, we're very happy for you. <laughs> Global securities finance revenues totaled $1.215 billion, making July the highest revenue-generating month of 2022. So they made more than a billion in 2022, $1.2 billion. And if you look at this chart here, and I know it's hard to see. I don't think I, I, don't think I can make it any larger. about as we can large as we can go so all securities so for for all global securities finance it was everything was 1.2 billion and then all equity was 978 million and then american equity was 605 million so hold on to that number so all of these global securities finance all the stuff they do everything they do <laughs> everything we're going to see that everything they do is one thing one thing only that's it all they do is this is it that's all they do so 605 million dollars for american american equity so hold on to that number okie dokie so july was a standout month for america's equity revenues increased by a phenomenal 103 percent year over year we're really happy for you guys way to go the top 10 revenue generating stocks can constituted 43 percent hold on to that number so 605 in american equities profits 1.2 billion total global everything these these financial companies do and then 43 percent of americans uh, revenues came from these top 10 revenue generating uh equities over the month uh a fall in sh and then look at this misleading way they they do this all of this is they never, they never come out and say we're fraudulently they never come out and say exactly what is happening this is all sort of euphemisms and then here's another euphemism a fall in the share price of beyond BYND um, towards the end of July saw an increase in demand to borrow stocks. So a fall in the share price of Beyond Meat, a fall in its share price saw an increase in demand to borrow. Interesting. Now what happened was they created a whole bunch of shares flooding the market with supply, driving the price down. That's not how they described it. A fall in the share price saw an increase in borrowing. <laughs> That's an interesting way of putting it. And there's Beyond Meat, the second most of uh, the top. So the top 10 revenue generating in America's equities, GameStop, Beyond Meat, Lucid, Faraday, Dutch Brothers, Upstart, AMC, SiriusXM, Fisker, and Cassava Sciences. Now remember, it's these hard to borrow shares that these prime brokers make so much money in. Why is that? Well, there's no more shares to borrow, so you can't make any more. Okay, so it's a fake share count. But at least it's capped out at some point, right? No, these places can uh, they, they can deliver they can let they can loan the shares out that they create with one with one arm of their finance company, and then have an international finance an international arm in England, let's say the UK, where it's legal to do this, deliver the shares, and so they can when, with one share they can uh, they can create as many shares they can short that share. They can, they can lend that share repeatedly, creating fake shares repeatedly. Okay. So anyway, anyway, uh, so, the, so the point is, it, it's, they're hard to borrow. So the, 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 how, much they, how much these banks get paid when they do this and create a share is, a, is very high. That's why, it's, that's why they do it in these hard to borrow ones because the, the, what they get paid is very high. So they, they, they keep creating these and that's why they make so much money most of their money literally most of their money so if you add this up the revenue they made they made 61 million from gamestop 50 million from beyond 41 million i added them all up i added them all up if you add all those up i'll add all those up it's i'm not going to read them out but i added them all up and then i said that number equals it came to 260.01 million so the top 10 of these hard to borrow stocks uh, that generated so much money for them, uh, generated 260 million. And then so the 260 million equals 0.43 X. Remember 0.43, this is 43%. The top 10 made 43%. So if you divide 260 by 0.43, you get 604.67 or 605. 
So the, remember, all the money, that America's equities, all the money was $605 million. So just pointing out, these finance companies, when it comes to equities, all they do is the only money they make, the only money they make is fraudulently creating hard-to-borrow shares in companies like Cassava Sciences, GameStop, AMC, Beyond Meat, Lucid, all of the usual suspects. The meme stocks. Okay, you know, this topic makes me angry. So then uh, a prime broker... So what is a prime broker? So prime brokerage is the generic name for a bundled package of services offered by investment banks, wealth management firms, and securities dealers to hedge funds, which need the ability to borrow securities and cash in order to be able to, to invest. Okay, so this is only services offered to hedge funds, and they say that it's... Uh, a package of services, but when it comes to equities, the only services they're offering is, is, is making these hard to borrow shares. That's where all of their equity money came from. All of it, all of it. And that, and that money, so then that 605 million of the American represents about half of the 1.2 billion of the, all the money they made. So the American shorting hard to borrow, creating fraudulent shares, of hard to borrow American companies is how they made half of all of their money. And then they're probably doing the same thing with international equities, which was another quarter of it. So three quarters of their money is just creating hard to borrow, uh, fraudulent hard to borrow shares. The rest was they were actually creating some fixed income services and whatnot. But mostly it's just creating fraudulent hard to borrow shares so that hedge funds can short them and make the stock go down instead of betting it will go down. Okay, and then here's the top 10 prime brokers. Number one, Goldman Sachs. Number two, Morgan Stanley. Number three, JP Morgan. Number four, Credit Suisse. Number five, Bank of America. Number six, UBS. Number seven, BNP Paribas. Number eight, Interactive Brokers, which was news to me. Number nine, Barclays. And number 10, City Prime Finance. Alrighty. Meantime, cassava is up another one uh, percent. Good job, team. Uh, Thirty-five people here. Thank you guys for being here. Great to see you. And with that, my investing friends, let's go to the phones. Join the free newsletters in the description if you dare. If you dare, you got to take some courage to join those newsletters. I don't blame you if you haven't do dove into the waters yet. Goose, good morning, Joe. Good morning, Goose. Talk to me, my friend. Any insight into the large spike by IKT yesterday? Yes. Oh, we should have talked about this. Darn, I should have. This should have been a topic of conversation. We'll have to talk about it tomorrow. Uh, they got a uh, composition and methods, but a composition of matter patents, as we've talked about, are the strongest patents in biotechnology. They got composition of matter and methods. Uh, Frankly, I can't remember the rest of it now, but that's why they got a really good patent. Uh, maybe I'll maybe I'll bring it up here real quick. Good uh, good looking out there, Goose. Good looking out there, my friend. Let me bring it up here. In the meantime, Daily Mix. Hey Joe, amazing work like always. Thank you, my friend. I've uh, been a, been out a long time. Yes, good to see you, my friend. Where you been? But always watch your show after hours. Uh, I've incorporated in Delaware. I've received, or at least I started the process with a registered agent. I received, they sent me what they sent in. They got back to me and said, Investors Club has taken. So I did, the, the, so I, uh, so I changed the name uh, to, you know, to incorporate slightly, uh, slightly, but we'll, well, I won't change the show name. But anyway, uh, so I should be getting back. Uh, that, that, that The wheels are in motion is the point. I should be getting back uh, my filing documents and that'll be monetized. And then... I'm going to step it up to twice a day. Uh, we'll do opening and closing. We'll do the opening of the show and the closing of the show. Uh, so here is, this is the uh, Investors Club Discord. So here is the patent. In Hibicase Therapeutics to be granted U.S. patent titled Compositions and Methods for Inhibiting Kinases for uh, Prevention Treatment of Cancer or Bacterial Viral Infection. Very big. Good looking out, my friend. Thank you, Goose. Good call. Daily Mix, great to see you. And so, yes, uh, we'll do once once we're monetized, which should be which should be uh, pretty shortly. Remember, we were getting frustrated. All the work we're putting into this, and we're not getting pushed out there by YouTube. 
no matter, we'll get monetized and then we'll be good. But we'll start uh, doing an opening and a closing. I think maybe 15 minutes before the open and 15 minutes before the close, we'll do a show each day. And, and so we'll go back to two a day, I think, once we're monetized. So that'll be pretty cool. And maybe more people can make the live shows. So thank you, my friend. Polk, love the thumbnail, Joe. Wonderful to see Saba on that list. Yeah, it explains a lot. And it, it's, it's why the blockchain is so important. It's why, uh, getting a, it's why dividends are so important. Uh, it's why having a tough CEO that understands this stuff is so important. Uh, and then it's just important for us to understand what we're up against. There's so much money. They're not going to go away. They're not going to go away. And by the way, I think this is only what we're seeing. This is only above board what we're seeing. Like if you look at the reported short interest of cassava, it's like 27%. And that's what these numbers are leading back to. But the, most of this is happening in these international subsidiaries, which are outside the purview of the SEC and everyone else. And we're not, we're, that would, those numbers would not be reported. So this is much, much, much larger than these numbers. Peter, so thank you very much, Poke. Peter, my friend, hello, Joe. Thank you for your great work. Thank you, my friend. Great to see you, my friend. I think I missed your comment on Friday. So great to see you. Thank you for being here. Great to see you, my friend. Rasmus audio is fine. Thank you, my friend. Kareem, great to see you live, my friend. You always leave me nice uh, comments later on. Finally got you live. Yes, great to see you, my friend. Good to see you, Joe, and thanks again for all you do. Thank you, my friend. I really appreciate uh, seeing you here. This is great. We're seeing everybody. Love the information today, Joe. Thank you, Pale. I appreciate it. I was wondering if that was too dry for everybody, and that particular topic gets me fired up. So I was trying to, 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 to kept trying to lighten up, but that topic makes me, makes all of us, I think, uh, get uh, pretty upset. H. Tub, the SEC doesn't understand this. The SEC is the fox uh, running the hen house, fox in the hen house. They, they actually, they're in charge of protecting it, it seems. Kevin, thanks for the IKT update. I was wondering about that spike. Yeah, so uh, uh, cancer and then bacterial viral infection, pretty totally awesome. Kinases have so many potential applications. Uh, and we know, uh, and that sort, of, uh, that's, sort of goes in line with what we were saying. That's, we know they're developing more outside of 009. Even in, in, in 009's vein, they're developing more treatments and so more kinases. And so, uh, and then we also said 001 Pro, which is another kinase, a pro drug kinase. And so they're, 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 there's more stuff outside of their Parkinson's program. And then their Parkinson's program could hit. Who knows? Really cool little company. Thank you for the, for the, thank you for the thank you, Kevin. Cedric, hey, Joe, what's going on with Saba? Not looking too good for my shares. Well, we, but we've had some, we've had some good days, my friend. And, and we know that they're being shorted like crazy. So one of these days, there'll be a reckoning of some kind, but they're, they're actually doing pretty well, my friend. They were up, what, 10% yesterday, like leading the market. 11, they finished like 10% up or something. And this is coming off of that uh, really, really amazing open label data. The next 50 people, 58% after 68% the, after of the first 50 people. Pretty terrific. We're helped by Somifilin. Occupy SEC needs to be a movement. I, I don't... I don't SEC, I don't see a reason for the SEC. They're so corrupt. I'm not sure what they do. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know why there's an SEC. I don't know what they do. Uh, they're not, are they, are they, do they do legitimate things? I don't know. I guess, maybe. Colin, hi, Joe. I'm addicted to watching Sava on Market Watch. Any ideas how to distract while holding on? <laughs> it's a tough one. You could uh, you could go the other way instead of distracting yourself. Like uh, people, they watch they watch their shows, and then instead of stopping watching the show, they they, they make a, a YouTube channel about the show. Like I so, said, so instead of stopping watching the stocks, I made a YouTube channel about the stocks. You could do what I did, make a YouTube channel about watching your stocks, and then uh, then we'll partner on stuff. <laughs> uh, thank you, Colin. Tim, hi Joe. I'm joining late today. Uh, do uh, do 50 laps, do 50 laps, uh, but Sava is up today on a red day. Okay, no no 50 laps because it's up today on a red day. Good, good, good point out. I would bet Sava is over 100% shorted, including naked shorts. So when we talk to Wes Christian, there's this whole game plan of what they do to these stocks. They did literally everything, this whole campaign. No stock perhaps has ever had a campaign like this. 
This is like the whole campaign just on overdrive. And yes, all of if in all of these situations, this the share count was always more than 100% shorted. And in fact, even though many many votes never get voted, uh, there were there was there was more than 100% more than 200% of uh, pe of people showing up to annual meetings to vote, uh, so yeah, well over one hundred percent short, including naked shorts. I, I it, that would it it stands to reason that is the pattern. It probably is. That's why a blockchain uh, dividend or of some kind using the blockchain just 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 putting an NFT or a blockchain preferred share dividend uh, a preferred share that would uh, paying out wasn't a dividend uh, is it would or uh, paying a cash dividend. But some way of getting the share count uh, accounted for is so important. It's a fake share count. It's, it's, it's a market of supply and demand and it's fake supply. We have to do something about it. That's why you need a tough CEO. Can't see real-time short percent on Saba. What would be a good website to tell the real short interest amounts uh, a short squeeze.com, but none of them, none of the, you only see the reported one, which is what's in, in the purview of the SEC. You don't see all the real stuff, which is their international subsidiaries that all of them have and all of them use. So there is no, you can't actually get the real one. You can get the reported one, short squeeze.com. Kevin Fox, I remember when you were hopeful that, that Gensler would possibly do something. Yeah. Was I ever so... Was I ever so young? <laughs> Was I ever so naive? Yeah. Uh, I mean, there it's uh, Lucy Commissar. Now I'm remembering her name. She interviewed someone who was hopeful about Gensler. And so we said, okay, hopefully, but no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Eldar. Hi, Joe. Thank you for your hard work. My pleasure, my friend. Thank you. Hopefully you will get your AdSense account set up sooner than later. Yeah, now the wheels are in motion. So don't need, not waiting on Florida, not waiting on AdSense to send me anything. Now all I need is Delaware to send me something and technically my registered agent for Delaware to send me something. So, and I, I did an electronic thing, so it doesn't even have to come to my mail. If there's something going wrong with my mail, okay. They're, they're electronically sending me my mail. So, so I got them, I got them. <laughs> So thank you, my friend. It's been ridiculous. <laughs> Largo, storming, storming show as usual. I love that uh, adjective. Thank you. A storming show. Thank you. Love it. Thank you. Don Jose, Mr. Joe, sir. Thank you. Great hard to borrow shares topic you covered. I really appreciate it, Largo. Thank you. Like insuring the same house against fire a thousand times. Yes, that, that's a perfect metaphor. And then burning it down then collecting a thousand time your home contents value easy. Yeah, it's a, it's a ridiculous criminal uh, thing. And no wonder these banks get so politically involved because they've got to protect their little, their little uh, racket, their racket. Thank you, Largo. Poke, Sava is getting close to finding a cure for one of the toughest to solve Alzheimer's disease. The fact that they are very close to achieving this Enough for me to rally and cheer for them. Go Saba. Yeah, and 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 so now you're bringing it back to the fact that they're, this is a life. That Alzheimer's disease affects everybody in the world, literally, and this is it's in a, in a really tragic, fatal way for everybody's family members. And so they're not just stealing money; they're stealing money from uh, from companies trying to to fund this, find the cure. Nothing. What could be more evil? It really. Ugh. You got to laugh or something because, uh, Chuck, Chuck, my friend, great to see you. Max Payne is 20. Thank you for bringing that up. We haven't talked about Max Payne for a while. Speaking of sort of all the manipulation, remember Max Payne, Cassava now has options expiring every Friday. And so every Friday, where would the, where's the maximum pain points where most people would lose money that bought options and most people uh, yeah, the bought options would lose money. Where would that be? Max Payne is 20 for Sava. So Chuck's telling us it's at 20 right now. Max Payne is, so, and so when options expire, the prices of stocks tend to gravitate to that point. If other things happen, it can send them away from it. But if nothing else happens, they tend to go to that point. So Chuck is saying for this Friday, it's 20 bucks. So that's good. Maybe that's what's pulling us up. Max Payne is 20 for Sava for the week. Is this why we are hovering so close to that number? 
great idea. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's what's pulling us up and maybe that's uh, why we're here. Last Friday, do you remember what we closed at? It was 1750 on the button. And I don't know if that was Max Payne, but it was one of the expiries and it might have been Max Payne and it closed exactly on it last Friday. So great call. Great point, my friend, Chuck. Great point. Jacob, and great to see you. Jacob, great to see you. Hi, Joe. Shouldn't the FDA be approving inhibit cases uh, independent or IND since this is the start the, the new drug process, investigational new drug, that's what it is, investigational new drug application for 001 Pro any day now? Uh, I don't frankly know. Frankly, I, I don't frankly know. That sounds right, I guess. It should be... It, there, I, frankly, I don't, I, when I say I don't know, is that what it was? Because he had something coming up and he was talking about how quickly they could move. And frankly, I can't remember exactly what it was that was, that was the catalyst there. There was something. Is that, that must, I'm sure you're right, my friend. That's what it is then. So they're IND any day now. We should be hearing about that. So with that article, are you telling us to expect more of the same? Yes. However, uh, at some point, if, uh, if, if they can just stay alive, get approval, and let's say, let's say they partner and don't get bought out, they have cash flows, milestone, upfront payments, milestone payments. Now they can do things like pay a dividend. Now the share count can get, uh, now at some point, every, every year, these, they, when the, the hard to borrow shares, it's like you have to pay like 30%. So if the share price is $20, you have to pay $6 a year for every year, but the next year you got to pay it again. The next year you got to pay it again. And, uh, so I, I am expecting more of the same, but eventually Kasaba will be able to do something about it. And Remy did not dismiss the idea of the blockchain, although that may have just been bluster, but if we can get him to do the blockchain, that will, that will remember overstock went 40 X and Kasaba, they've been doing this to Kasaba for a year and a half. Uh, it's gonna, it's, it could be the mother of all short squeezes or 40 X would be fine with me. 40 <laughs> X would be fine with me. So yes, on one hand, more of the same and sign up for the big dividends newsletter. So you can have a dividends portfolio. So you don't have to put up with this crap dividends, solve the shorting problem, but for the innovation stocks, eventually they have to do something themselves. So more of the same, but, uh, I'm also expecting the, the company eventually to be able to get out of it. And then all of those shares will have to be covered. KRTX says, Impetus, good to see you, Impetus. That's, I like your, uh, I, li I never noted, I like your, uh, your avatar, my friend. It's a strawberry, but it's blue. It's a blueberry, but it's a blue strawberry. Uh, Joe, KRTX yesterday went up 100% because of good data from their Alzheimer's related drug therapy. When is the next Sava data readout? I didn't actually see that for KRTX. Thank you. I'll check it out. The next Sava data readout, we know we'll get at least a, we'll get like October, the full contingent of 200 people in the open label. We got the first 100 already. We'll get the full cohort of 200. Uh, they'll be done by September. We should get it in October or thereabouts. We'll also get biomarkers for them at some point for 25 of them. And then there's CMS data, but that will be the placebo portion. We'll start to get uh, the, the whole contingent of CMS placebo portion will be done in April of next year. We may or may not get that. And then six months later in October or September of next year, and then, then maybe in October we'll get the, the whole CMS will be done. That's a really big, important one. And then phase three, like a year after that or so. Largo with SEC unwilling to do anything. We need more official advocacy for Samifalam to preempt hit pieces and short attacks. I agree, I agree, I agree. And uh, frankly, I know people get sick of me talking about the blockchain, but look how much money is involved. Even this, this is just the tip of the iceberg that's reported. It's a lot more than that. So we're up against big, big money and they don't, they're not literally able to short on the blockchain. So if we can go to T0, Remember Mark Cahodes, he was short Cassava. I think he still may be short Cassava, but he was short AMC as well. And then he went long AMC and he passionately advocated to do a blockchain NFT, uh, to do something on the blockchain, like an NFT uh, for everybody, all shareholders. If you have a shareholder of 
of AMC, you get an NFT and redeem it uh, for popcorn at the theater. And the idea was he knows that because remember, Mark Cahodes was interviewed by Lucy Komisar and he told her he was paying Goldman Sachs a hundred million a year himself to do this for them to create hard to borrow shares for his hedge fund. He had just one of his accounts with Goldman Sachs and he was giving that prime broker a hundred million a year himself, just one guy, just one of his accounts. And so anyway, once he went long AMC, he, he immediately advocated for them to issue uh, something on the blockchain issued from their common shares because he understood what people like him are doing. So that's why it's so important because they're not going to stop and it will work. That's why he, the hedge fund manager that does exactly this, when he switched and went long, he passionately, vocally advocated to do an NFT dividend. Like I am advocating <laughs> for the exact same reason because it will work. He understood it will work. And Overstock went 40x when they did it. Uh, yeah, and, and uh, agreed. So we need more, we need more, uh, we need to win more in the press, but it's going to be tough. This is the, like uh, us getting together and talking every day is, and then me getting uh, AdSense going. So YouTube will push me out there, but this type of thing, uh, here, the other, and everybody else that's doing the same type of thing, uh, in, t on Twitter and everything else, everybody fighting all the savages, the thousands of savages fighting the good fight is probably the best we're going to do, but it's very important and it's working. At least it's working somewhat, uh, but we're probably never going to get uh, big media ever. But thank you, Largo. Short attack colluders clearly rushed the last Reuters falsehood rehash. They feared the ER might include data, which thankfully it did. Yeah, the uh, the quarterly release had data. <laughs> thankfully it did. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's it it's true. Then that was a master stroke, especially at AAIC. Uh, and Remy sort of did take the headlines. It would seem at AAIC with that. So that was good. That was good stuff. 42 people we gained and didn't lose along the way. Great stuff. Great to see you guys. Thank you for being here. We'll do it again tomorrow. Sign up for the newsletters. Send me your stocks so we have to have some good August stocks. I'm still looking for some. I got plenty, but send me some more. Once we're, uh, and sign up for the big dividends newsletters. Once we're uh, monetized here and we're pushed out by YouTube, like we, we have 141, 142, uh, the big dividends. I did two videos for the, for, I'm going to do a video for each of the, the stocks recommended the big dividends, send it to the big dividends investors a week ahead, ahead of time, uh, and then release it publicly a week later. You can go to the spreadsheet I have, and there's a, a, a blurb about why I like each one on the right side, but I'm going to do a whole thing. But I stopped because it's not being pushed out there. So I did two, but I thought were really good videos and nobody watched them once they were pushed out. So anyway, once we're monetized, I'll start that again. So sign up for the big dividends, get those a week ahead of time, sign up for small caps. All the small cap stuff's really doing great, really kicking butt. Great to see you guys. New comments. Wait, wait, wait. Impetus. There should be more Saba YouTubers who give Saba info and tells everyone not to sell Saba. I don't understand why Saba, why people sell Saba. Just hold, you will get paid for it. I don't know if anybody does sell it. Hedge funders People hold on to it, so it should go up. So then hedge funders pay these prime brokers to create as many shares as they want, and they'll never stop because they're making literally most of their money. It's a business that literally makes its money that way. They make most of their money that way. So they're never going to stop. So pe people don't have to sell. I don't know anybody that's selling, frankly. I don't know anybody that's selling, but the hedge funds are just making the shares, and they're selling. The hedge funds are selling. The people that don't own it are selling, which is ridiculous. Driving your house down, the value of your house down by selling it when they don't own it. It's ridiculous. It's a crime. Makes me mad. Largo, let's not give up on the advocacy. Alzheimer's Association website still shows 483 hits if you search Aducanumab. They are headed for a huge drug info vacuum. They're, they are a... They're, uh, they're paid off as well. So silver, good stuff as always, Joe. Thanks, Joe. Yeah, I got to tomorrow. We'll do something more uplifting. This is uh, this is such a bummer. This topic, this topic always makes me angry <laughs> and it should. It's a crime being committed against us. It's a crime being committed against companies trying to solve, save people with Alzheimer's disease. It's a crime. It's a it's a terrible crime. Anyway, 
So glad to see you guys. Thanks so much for being here. I had a great time seeing you. We'll do it again tomorrow. Sign up for the newsletters and uh, see you in the Discord. Have a great night. See you in the Discord.